there's something about walking in nature that brings peace and tranquility and adventure and excitement. I'm speaking with Joanne Thompson, a landscape painter, about her paintings and how she brings that out in her paintings. Two years ago, I convinced the CRD to let me do an artist in residence at Francis King, and that, I think, really spurred my interest in the conservation of local areas and seeing the need to be active in putting my energy forward to preserve local wild spaces. The show is about wild anticipation. So I get to spend a lot of time in beautiful wild places because people anticipated the need to protect them. So as an artist, I get to go out there. And in this show is featured quite a few of the places from the Capital Regional District, as well as some places further afield. So I've got Grasslands National Park and Ivivik National Park and a new conservation area on Main Island called St. John's Point. We were really fortunate to go to Main Island and working on St. John Point uh, conservation which has happened. We went as artists to raise awareness and then um, put our works uh, towards an auction and a fundraiser. And so it's part of that process of um, conserving. Joanne's whole exhibit, Wild Anticipation, is about celebrating these special places and the foresight of people in our community to make sure that they remain for future generations. And I think that's so important. Natural places aren't only something that's a home for animals, it's also something that gives us well-being as a community, and it's something that protects our natural heritage as people. What is it that you love about Joanne's art? The sense of um, reverence for nature. She brings you in close with, you know, a bark piece, something like so intimate and really makes you look because she's really in there looking and then into the landscapes makes you realize how important wide open natural spaces are to us. Okay, the Matson Conservation Area, I don't, I don't pick wildflowers in the woods. The Mason Jar series started as a family history project and I had um, transcribed a number of my grandmother's stories and she talked about having 300 mason jars on the go at all times and I was trying to find a way to tell the story I just couldn't figure it out and finally I just got frustrated and put things in put some things in a mason jar and painted it and I figured I'd just do that until I figured out how to tell the story and that was how to tell the story. I really love Joanne's paintings because they're something we can celebrate that's local and it features real places in nature that are protected that people right here in Victoria and South Vancouver Island can enjoy. The watercolor on canvas is very delicate. I have to do it in studio. I can sketch outside. I'll often sit very quietly doing a drawing and the forest critters will come up and have a look at me and maybe squ squirrels like to scold me. Like, I'm not supposed to be there. Like, what are you doing here? This is my spot. And ravens and um, flickers will come by and it's quite wonderful. I love being in the landscape and I know a lot of people who do and who want to bring that landscape into their homes. So I've found that people buy the landscapes Sometimes it's when they can no longer get out there anymore. They haven't got the mobility to get out, but they can then sit and remember being there. And it brings that peace that we get when we're sitting in the land. Joanne's artwork captures the breathtaking landscapes of Canada. For Community Producers, MJ Kellington.